In Good Health tonight, we're talking about the connection between being overweight and suffering from high blood pressure. Experts say the conditions often go hand in hand. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now with a closer look at that connection and also one woman's journey to try to make a major change in her life. Well, yes, Sandra and Jason, you know, being overweight puts extra strain on your heart, increasing your risk of developing high blood pressure and raising your risk of a long list of health problems. Losing weight can help lower your blood pressure, and as one patient found out, the benefits don't stop there. Maureen McCullough has lots of energy. I just love fitness, and I love movement. But all of this would have been difficult for her just three years ago. When I first got um, more focused on my um, health journey, I was close to 270 pounds. Pauline was just 28 when she was diagnosed with high blood pressure. That brought a stern warning from her doctor. I needed to get on high blood pressure medicines because if I didn't, I um, would, could possibly, you know, have a high risk of dying because my blood pressure was that high of being close to stroke levels. Pauline had been overweight for most of her life, but she was no stranger to exercise. It was her diet that needed work. I read up on um, my fitness pal, um, started tracking my food. Um, I did a little bit of um, changing out of some of the type of stuff I was eating. A recent study showed heart disease is targeting more younger women, and those admitted to the hospital were more likely to be African American women with high blood pressure, kidney disease, or diabetes. This week marks the three year anniversary of Pauline becoming medication free. Now, almost 100 pounds later, she's happier, healthier, and most of all. I think I've gained a lot of confidence. All weight loss, just five to 10 pounds, may start lowering your blood pressure. And if you don't know your blood pressure, you need to get it checked. It is, in fact, one of those vital numbers that we all need to know. And people misunderstand it too often. They just know if the doctor tells them it's high, 120 over, what is it supposed to be? You know, well, know and, that number. And actually, the numbers have changed slightly. So now, even 120 is like the upper limit. And in fact, so if you have 130, that's considered something you need to pay number. attention to. All yes. Right. Thanks, Doc. Hmm?